um, Merry Christmas. Um, I wasn't going to make this my Christmas uh, special or Christmas video because um, I wanted to do a Christmas scene but I've run out of time again. So um, today we're going to do the machine of the Pegasus horse and um, in the coming new year I'll be doing quite a few uh, of, of these so uh, you'll really get the hang of using a CNC machine and how to convert these into 3D reliefs. So we'll get straight on with machining the Pegasus horse. Right up. So this is what NC Studio sees as the cutting envelope uh, on the 6090 router. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm, I've got a quite a pointy tool set into the uh, spindle uh, and I'm going to fire the uh, pendant up and because uh, at the moment the the, the the spindle head here is in the machine home position um, so what I'm, what I'm going to do now is take it over to a, a position where the, the start of the program is um, or the G54 or the origin of the program uh, set the X, Y, uh, 0 positions then I'm going to change the tool and put the 12 millimeter in and then do the Z set, set the Z height yeah. okay so I've just um, linked together the pendant and NC Studio which is a simple process really it's just a matter of uh, putting the dongle, uh, which is here, into the computer. And if I can zoom into this, you'll notice a very small um, square little box, red box there with an X in it. You just touch on that, uh, and it actually links, I'll switch this on, and it links this with the computer then this takes over control. Okay, now we do the X, which is pretty well there. Uh, so now we can zero the X and Y. And it's a simple case of just pressing and pressing. And it's done. Uh, so now I'll change the tool, put the 12mm in, and we can zero the 12mm tool. Now I've put the 12mm end mill in, um, I'm in danger now of running out of z-axis in the up direction. So now I'm going to have to reposition the spindle in its mount. Um, this gives you a, you know, uh, and I suppose I added benefit of um, having the reach of 200 millimeters, even though the, um, the, the, the operation of the Z axis is only about 130 millimeters. But you are able to unclamp this and move the um, spindle in its mount, which is what we're going to have to do now to get enough clearance over the material. Now that's a very simple process. Uh, you just get an Allen key, slacken off the pinch bolts here. You get a screwdriver, but first take the weight of the motor and put a bit of upward pressure. Okay, so you just then ease it open and see it slip down then. Once you open that, it will move quite freely. Okay, so we want to you know, a good 50, 60 mil underneath there, and just nip these back up. You don't have to over tighten them. Okay, so it's simply done with a piece of paper. Although the machines that I, I am supplying actually have um, an electronic aid to do this. So you select Z and 
take it down. I've got this coming down gradually. Every every um, I suppose movement of this um, is one millimeter, so we can take it down, take it down until we're quite close. And then I can alter the jog to half a millimeter. Half a millimeter steps. Now I'm going to go down to 0 0.1 steps in jog. What I actually do is just catch onto the piece of paper and just move it slightly and just bring the tool down till it just grabs it. Just feel the tool there. Just grabbing that now. So now we know that that tool is approximately a thousandth of an inch off the top of that um, piece of work. So we just zero it now. Hopefully. Try again. There you go. Uh, so now it's zeroed. And this is the home position, okay, the old, old machine coordinate. And this is the work offset or the work coordinate. Okay, so now we're all set up for machining. I can put this to normal jog. What I'm doing, I'll just turn you over here so you can see what I'm doing. To alter the jog settings, I'm just altering this like as there's one millimeter there I'll turn the z-axis up one millimeter or two actually and it's precisely two millimeters <coughs> take it down one and it's precisely one millimeter off that work so now I put it to full jog and now it's full-time jog. As much as I move the the, the wheel here, uh, or the pendant, uh, it'll it'll keep on going. There you go. So now it's 22.71 millimeters off the work. So now, uh, what I actually do is turn the pendant off. So it's off now. Uh, I don't use the pendant when the machine is running. Um, it's a, look, this is a radio device. Uh, I've never really had anything happen to me personally, uh, but I have heard of, uh, if you have this live and hooked up to the machine, while it's running the program, it is possible uh, that something can go amiss. Um, if someone accidentally moves this or something, while it's running the program, I believe. Um, so that's why I personally turn the pendant off. Uh, so now the computer and the keyboard is in complete control of the machine through NC Studio. So the next thing we're going to do now is to open the file and load it into NC Studio, if I can find it. Okay, this is now running at 80 millimeters per second. I've just put this up to 120%. This is now running at just under 100 millimeters or four inches per second. You'll now see what I was explaining that as the tool approaches this area here, the slowdown 
top. So you throw it there. Just momentarily while the, the Z picks up and it allows the X to go further over, then drops down. So it's just a momentary pause. Or should I say, not, not a pause, but a slow down. Very slightly slow down. So it's just coming over for the second cut.
and there is the finished item. Uh, it's pretty well straight off the machine. Um, all I've really done is um, just trim, it, trim the, um, the border off uh, to a little bit of a frame. Uh, I haven't even put any emery or any, I haven't <laughs> put any paper to it or anything. You, you can see it's, uh, nope. it's uh, not bad at all. Um, it's got a little tiny bit of furring around the edges, a little bit here. Um, now if I was able to put the 1.5mm ball mill in, um, that would have reduced that a lot. But um, now we're just going to go around it with a bit of paper and uh, put some sort of finish on it. Uh, probably uh, rinse it all. But there you go. Um, that is how to turn a grayscale picture into a 3D piece of art, really. So um, I hope you've enjoyed um, the machining of that today, um, because it's now the day before Christmas Eve. Um, I was going to do a, um, a Christmas type of project, but I've run out of time. So um, I'd just like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and um, I'm probably going to take a break for two or three days myself now and I'll see you probably just before the new year so um, please if you've liked this video press like uh, subscribe to my channel that's a real good thing to do and a uh, little red box down down the bottom corner there as normal um, that will take you to my YouTube channel where there's a lot of videos now on CNC machines, uh, Mac 3, NC Studio, Outcam. Um, I do some wood turning, metal turning, make some furniture. I do quite a few shop jobs as well that may interest you. So um, I'm sure there's something there. That, I'm sure there's something there that. Uh, Will, will please you or interest you so um, again Merry Christmas to you all and uh, bye for now <laughs>